All right, so we've come on inside to the Pickett House restaurant over here in Woodville, Texas. The whole community, school children, all that, raise money to purchase this village. The women are dressed as an 1800 style and they serve you an endless amount of food. I'm gonna do a little bit of a walk around. It's, a, it's kind of echoey in here, so as I talk, I'm gonna try not to disturb everybody as they're having their meal. This is a really unique restaurant. This is Mr. Jack Whitmire's collection. That he passed away. He was a very wonderful supporter, member of the Heritage Society that owns this. It's family style. So in the way they serve you here is that it's whatever the house is cooking for the day, and today it's going to be fried chicken and dumplings. The restaurant. Uh -huh. You got a heritage museum here. Yeah. And you got a restaurant to yeah, it. The restaurant. That's why we serve boarding house style. It has to be educated to what it was back then. How people lived here it was served boarding house style. I'm just going to have a walk around, and I'm going to show you what's here. And the really unique thing about this place is there's no separate tables for dining. So. Everybody comes in, you sit at a picnic table with benches, and you just sit together. And I, I have asked to be set aside a little bit because I don't want to disturb the people as they're eating. And so we'll have Kelly's gone and got our drinks. Well, yeah, it was simple because back then people didn't have much money. You know, what you they grew is what they used, you know. And yeah, well, it's so excellent. Yeah, it was keep it simple, and uh, people love it all these years. Absolutely. You know? really unique dining experience, right? They're only open until 2, so they open at 11 in the morning. But they all started out with Clyde Craig. All started out with Clyde Craig? Yes. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another day with the Highway Maniac Channel. I'm Emery West, and I'll be your host as we travel over to Woodville, Texas today. We're going to have an experience which is, takes us back to the 1800s. So we're going to go over to a, bill, uh, to a house that is actually a boarding house style restaurant. Now my understanding is this is actually more like a heritage museum. So we didn't know that until actually we've done a little bit of research. It's going to be an interesting day and a unique adventure. Um, I understand there's quite a museum there, which I'm not going to do that today in the film. So you'll have to look for that in a unique destination. But come along with us today as we enjoy the Pickett House Restaurant in Woodville, Texas. Today we've come down to Woodville, Texas and we're going to go visit the Pickett House restaurant. This was a recommendation to us from Ronnie at uh, the Fish Pond restaurant and he said this was an amazing place to eat. So we've come over here today to Woodville, it's about a, I don't know, an hour and a half ride or so and we're going to have a try at the Pickett House restaurant. Come on in with us and join us and see how this goes today. Oh, boarding house. Oh, look at this. As you come in, it says notice, boarding house eating rules. Fix your own drink at the drink bar. We will show you where to sit. The cooks will bring in the food. Eat all you want, what you can't eat and leave on the table. We got, we got hogs to feed. Take your plate and tools to the kitchen. Boarding house rules. The cook pot goes to the cooks. They do all the work. If you go away hungry, it's your own fault. That's some pretty cool house rules, is it not? That is awesome. Can you tell me how this all got started? Well, this is started by Mr. Clyde Craig. You know, he started this off as a, like a 
a touch museum it is a banya museum everybody that goes through it. and this was in the 60s so this is where we come in the old time piano just get a good rounding clip of a whole place here as you pay for the meal it comes with a uh, iced tea and lemonade and sweet teas and water and things like that things that are here here's the condiments you can have right check this out setting in ice water is buttermilk look at that huh that's not something you get to see every day now is it okay so she's brought us our food here's how it comes there's the fried chicken there's the dumplings ah there's potato and gravy so this is a home style service and thank you very much appreciate it so you can see is that when you come in you may you, as i'd said before you just order what they're serving for the day so let's have a good look so we ordered white and we ordered dark meat because i like dark and i like white but kelly prefers white meat so let's have a good look at this shall we i want to break you've got a lot of stuff here there's so much it's unique so things much, here and yeah. you haven't seen the village a pioneer village right. there is a collection of uh so you can see the biscuits here nice looking biscuits good looking cornbread oh that looks like some good crunchy fried chicken so that's uh those look like uh spinach greens those would be green beans mashed potato and gravy and dumplings it was this was uh, uh he, he started off like it's just i don't know what he got it's called heritage garden village is what he started off with this okay. is the story about him and his wife and how they started all right and now we purchased the last house that he lived in it's right across the street is now dedicated in his memory is his museum the Clyde Cray House Museum we're at the Pickett House restaurant over in Woodville Texas and we're about to dig in so let's see how this all is right all right now all of you know that any of you that's watched me for a while or that know me as I've grown up I'm not a huge vegetable fan oh look at that so these green beans have been cooked. It looks like a piece of ham in there. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's a piece of ham. In there. So, oh, they smelled like they came out of a boiled dinner. That is just heavenly smelling. Oh, it's just luscious. I'll try some of the collard greens. Now, I love beet greens. I'm not real familiar with collard greens. I'm going to start with a drumstick. So, let's have a good look at that, right? You know, you know that my camera doesn't do well with close-ups, so let's have a look. It's got a good-looking crisp on it, nice-looking skin on that right there. Yeah. Now, do you change the meals on a daily basis at the house? We change some, some vegetable, like today, what vegetable? Yeah. So we, we always have the fried chicken, yep. mashed potato and gravy, dumplings, and the greens. Then we change and peach coffee. Peach yeah. coffee, okay. So we have the condiments. Yeah. Uh, Which were one, the first time I've ever had pickled watermelon, watermelon rye. Yeah. That was amazing to <laughs> so, me. Yeah, I've never had that. Yeah, I know. Yeah. All right, bon appetit, shall we? Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's good stuff. That's good fried chicken. It's well done. It's not overdone. It's juicy. See, the society now owned it since 1987. And people, yes, they don't mess with it. If, if it stays all right, that's right. Yeah. They'll mess with it. Yeah. Let's try these collard greens. So in the east, we grow our garden back in Maine. We eat a lot of beet greens out of it. And I'm, I'm not real, kind of a sweet taste to them. Um, tastes like there's something else in there they're cooked with. It's almost like a hint of anise, but I'm not, I don't believe so. It's good. It's good. 
Oh, the bean, green beans are spectacular. Oh, I got that hint of, they got that hint of ham cooked with them. Mmm. Yeah, they got that smoky, salty flavor from like they've cooked a rub of ham in there. There's just nothing like pickled beet. Pickled beets are amazing. Okay, so Kelly doesn't know what this is for sure. I'm almost thinking this might be watermelon rind. I'm not sure. Mmm. Oh. Oh, wow. That is... That is soft. It's soft, but it's kind of got a, a hard texture to it. Real sweet. Really sweet with a touch of vinegar in it. Where it's been pickled. Actually, I'm almost positive this is a watermelon rind. You can see a light hint of a grain running through it. I'm almost positive that's watermelon rind. You can see where here, this would have been the inside of the watermelon. Mm. Oh. If it is, that's the first time I've ever had pickled watermelon. That is, that is heavenly. Oh, that is delightful. We're getting through it here. Kelly and I are getting down through this. And so a lady came by and we asked what that was and they are. That is pickled watermelon rind. So obviously this is my very first time ever having pickled watermelon rind. It's amazing. I, I mean, just truly amazing. It's a food group I wished I hadn't been missing all these years. The beets are excellent. All the food is excellent. And you can see they've, they've just brought us another, they brought us another plate of chicken. And so the first plate they brought us was dark meat. This plate is white meat, pressed on the top. Nice smell of cinnamon in there. Yeah, okay. Uh, you can definitely see the peaches. Yeah, you know, nice looking peaches there. It's got a nice smell to it. Oh. Mm. oh, the warm cinnamon. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, the warm cinnamon. That crust. That crust has absorbed all that juice. And instead of being what you'd think crispy and crunchy, <clears throat> it's a soft, hard, melts in your mouth as you as you just oh the peaches are so soft oh it has a wonderful taste and texture to it excellent excellent today's meal cost us twenty seven dollars and seventy three cents now I left a tip as well also so for all you could eat chicken and then chicken and dumplings mashed potato and gravy, um, collard greens and green beans, and dessert, which was peach cobbler. <clears throat> and that includes your drinks. So that was sweet teas and regular tea and lemonade and you know, self-serve. And I get another picture of that, right? You can see the self-serve counter there. Now up there on the self-serve counter, they also had uh, pickled jalapenos, uh, coleslaw, um, pickled beets, which we ate, and then the amazing pickled watermelon rind. Now, <clears throat> I know I've said this a lot and I've repeated myself a lot here, but I've never eaten those. So to me, whenever I come somewhere and we get to indulge in food and I eat something I've never eaten, <clears throat> I talk about it a lot because especially if I like it, because it, it, it means something to me at that point in time, right? All right, so as we're sitting here, Kelly has just brought something to my attention. All of these posters in here that are on the wall, they got little plaques under them. Let's look underneath of it. Here it is, it was adopted by Rebecca Duckworth and Elizabeth Tolliver. Let's have another look at one. Isn't that an amazing shape? And this one was adopted by Patricia Burgess. 
North Carolina in memory of her parents, Mr. and Mrs. Ewell T. T. Wood. So look at that, look. I want to thank you all today for joining us on another great experience with the Highway Maniac as we've traveled down to Woodville, Texas and experienced the Picket House restaurant. We had an amazing meal there and they thanks all the gracious people there as well at the historical site. We got to film that as well. So have a look out for that because that will be coming up in a unique destination. It was a really amazing time we got to spend with everybody and to get to see all the unique buildings and the unique things that was there they had. So I want to thank you all for watching. We really appreciate it. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down there below. Click on that bell so you get notified first when we put a new video out. Look down below for our links to Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest. And Kelly's got us on Yelp now too, so you can see our food reviews. Thank you very much from the deepest of our heart. And don't forget, when in doubt, take it out and ride it out. Thank you.